walking in the dungeon with Harry and Kevin. So today I think we should prepare a, a feature dish which would perhaps have been eaten by people people of the period. So, so we're going to start with some vegetables yes. over here. Yes, you can eat vegetables. And uh, importantly, you don't clean the carrots. Oh, okay. Now we, we, we like to keep the dirt on there. Just it's, toss uh, it in there. Yep, yeah, so let's just chop a few bits up here. So we have some unwashed potatoes, just what we've been called I kind for. of like them whole. Yep, yeah, some, uh, some mouldy cabbage. Yep, it's off. Okay, brilliant. It's a well aged. And a parsnip. You never know when you might need a parsnip. So there we go. You don't, do you know what's missing? Uh, some broccoli. <laughs> I don't know why it's missing from there, but it is. And of course we need some... That's not of the period. Hold on a minute. Uh, corn. <laughs> this is corn. It's rather small. I don't think it grows in this country. I brought it with me. Oh. <laughs> and also peppers. Oh, from Spain. Yeah, we've, we've recently peppers. been to Spain. We took a ship. What else have you so, got? So, uh, well, we're just going to pile it in here. It's a compote of what would be compost if we left it long enough. Compost? Yeah, so we'll just pop it into the charcoal burner for a few minutes. And that will be ready in about four days. Just a chippy. You may notice we have some nice limpers here in front of the fireplace. They're way in there, and it's too hot. But this is an advertisement for Dave. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the windows. <laughs> Dixon windows. <laughs> Cheers. So welcome back to Cooking with Harry and Kevin. I think now, after that brief interlude, our meal is prepared. So here we have the compote of compost. So, dive right in. I'm feeling quite ill. You go right ahead. Oh, <coughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's quite hot. I think we're leaving now. We're going to go to the cellar and get some in wine. The cave, so some wine, indeed. Yes. Later. <laughs> oh, I'm doing an accent, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Neanderthal. That's about right, yeah, that'll do. Is it, is it recording? Yes, it is. <laughs> I was hoping we could prepare some food, do a little cooking show. You look so funny. That's too far, too early here. I don't know if this is the fitting of an ambassador, but it looked like it. <laughs> I like your waist belt there. <laughs> I have to get to the headpiece. Yeah, I don't know if I can get into character. You look like a monk. I thought you were going to be the ambassador. I was, but I don't, I don't know exactly what, I, what to find in there. Oh, hello, your high and gracious mighty, mightiness. I've brought you some food for you to partake on. Is this a cooking show? Oh no, sir. This is just what I've prepared for you this evening. And what's in there? Uh, this will be the most tastiest and delicious gruel you will ever have partaken in. With a turkey bone. It looks... <laughs> <laughs> looks a bit mushy. Well, please, sir, if I may be so bold, would you please save me a few Brussels sprouts? You can have the rest of this. Oh. Well, Go on I've, then, have a bite. I've never had so such kind offerings in my life. <laughs> I'd like a bit of squash, but I don't think that it's a giant Brussels sprout. Oh, it's cabbage, sir. That's cabbage, sir. Please may I have the stalk when you're finished with it? I think you have enough. 
I wouldn't know what to do with this, sir. It's not my worthy place. You beat your dog with it. <laughs>